my equestrian friends, it's me, Lisa, the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to another video. And today I wanted to share with you what it took for us to redo our paddock. So if you're looking for a video showing you how to make paddocks, you have come to the right video. Today I'm gonna to show you step-by-step step what we did for making our paddocks for the horse's pens. So when we got started, this is what we had to deal with. I had used landscaping timbers for my posts and I was using baling twine to hold the corral panels onto the posts. So the first thing I did was buy the wood that I was going to need. And these are four by six by eight foot long timbers. They were around $12 a piece and I needed nine of them. I needed to make sure that I had gloves because this was gonna be a really big project and it's a good idea to have some nice heavy duty gloves. And in addition to my gloves, I need some tools. I have already had a post hole digger like this one. It works pretty well. And then I also needed a shovel, which I have several and I use them all. So let's build some paddocks. So what I did first was figure out where I was going to put the new posts. And this was probably the most time consuming and the hardest thing to do was to dig these holes. And I moved the paddocks over a little bit so I was actually able to leave my horses in their pens eating their breakfast while I got started on this project. Which meant a lot of digging. And once the hole got pretty deep, probably about three feet deep, then I went ahead and switched over to the post hole digger. And these work, like I said, fairly well. It's a little more challenging in the soil where I live because it's clay. So it's really hard work. And digging a hole that's about four, four and a half feet deep, it was not easy. It was definitely hard work, but in the end, it, it's really worth it. So after I got the hole to about the depth that I thought that I wanted it to be, I took a four by four and used that instead of putting the bigger post in. This made it a lot easier in case I needed to do any more digging. And I saw where the post was going to be in relation to the corral panel and I decided I was happy with that. So then I grabbed one of the four by six posts and put it in the hole. That is just about perfect. Now all I have to do is fill in the dirt. So I did fill in the hole about halfway with dirt. Then I have this tamper, which helps to compact the soil. And I tamped that down to really make sure that the post was secure in the ground. And then I just put the rest of the dirt back into the hole. That's awesome. I have one done and eight more holes to go. There's two done and I'm working on the third. By this time it was really hot and I was really tired and I have only dug two and basically a quarter holes. So thankfully my husband, while I was out doing this, went and rented a post hole digger. So that did add an additional $100 to the cost, but I was so tired and I was so grateful that he did that. To me, it was really worth that rental fee to get the rest of the holes dug a lot faster. And once all the holes were dug, the old posts were removed and the new posts were in. Then I wanted to paint the posts and I just used Kills 2 Primer. That's my favorite paint to go to. And I just painted all of the posts white. 
I did put two coats of paint on and they could probably use another coat or two but I still have the paint so that makes it pretty easy. And while I was painting, my husband was helping me by putting the new gates on. We decided to get new gates because the old ones have been bent and just kind of worn out. These gates are really sturdy and really heavy duty and will be able to withstand the horses pushing on them. So my husband is awesome and he put the gates in for me while I was finishing painting. And once the gates were on, it was much easier to put the corral panels back in place. So we started with the front panels. I found some fasteners on Amazon that allowed me to connect the corral panels to the posts. And I will leave a link down below just in case you guys um, were curious and wanted to do something like this. The hardware cost about $40 for both pens. So we just made our way from pen to pen and reattached all of the corral panels. And I think we chose the hottest day to do this project because we were both <laughs> sweating. It was really, really hot and I did have sunscreen on but I still ended up getting burnt. But the good news is the pens were able to be done in one day. And I think Ethan approves of his new pen. He seems to be very happy inside his new home. And these are the pens all complete. The new gates, the new posts, the corral panels are attached to the posts, not using twine. I am so happy with how these turned out. And I think it looks 100% better than what it did before we got started. So these are the brackets that I was using. It's kind of like a U-shaped bracket. And I just put the bracket around the corral panel and then we attached it to the post. Hopefully you found this helpful. And if you are getting ready to build your own paddocks for your barn, I wish you the best of luck. And you never know, I might have some other videos that might help you out along the way. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my other horse related videos showing you how to make the most of the time that you have with your horse. Thanks for watching.